Oh, I worry about you, Adair. There'd be a finger free out here that you shouldn't be aiming at pet. Hey, it was dark. I only saw the back of your head. I thought you were some huge island squirrel. This ain't about me, farmer. Please, I must ask a favor. What say? Do you have business with the Valian Trading Company? My people are the Duape. We signed a contract with the company. We were not understanding the terms at the time. I wish to... what say? Renegotiate. But the clerks turned me away. My father, the Ranga, took payment from the company. In exchange, they dig for Audra. He did not understand the Valian way. When he dies, the Outlanders will claim our island for themselves. Father has fallen ill, and the clerk, Luca, stands by the agreement as surely as if it was stamped in his skin. Akira, already this treatment is not so unusual. I made my appeals to Luca, but my words were as stones dropped down the deepest well. While I am barred from the company office, I can do nothing for my people. I showed Luca a new contract, yes? Fairer, more agreeable terms. Luca called me a criminal and summoned his guards. A man in the gullet offered to assist me. He carried papers, ink, and wax. He helped to write a new contract in the Valian way and affix the correct seals. Luca, I say he did not like this. He took my contract and forced me into the streets. I do not know this word. I would fix, but Luca will not give me the chance. Negotiating with outsiders has not gone my way. Luca has it secured in a chest. Tengaloa's jaws such trouble for parchment, I say. Akira, my thanks. I will remain here by day until justice is done. Is still going on, is it? When will those arrogant louts decide that enough is enough? Found something. I've got it. If you're here on company business, then I will fit you into my schedule. The servers at the tavern are clumsy. Most clumsy, indeed. Ack, a lawful claim, I might add. No matter what the native says to the contrary. He showed up with a forged contract, as if I wouldn't know the difference between our paperwork and theirs. Tawenu is lucky, I only seized the forgery. The Galad is too good for his kind. Your villager friend would do well not to stand between the company and our prize. The company is allowed to solve problems as we see fit. 
And right now, the Wenu is a problem. Besides, lying is second nature to the Ranga heir and his ignorant gliente. Simple enough. We take on the burden of caring for the tribe in exchange for luminous Adra rights. Taweno is myopic if he thinks his tribe can thrive under Aranga in this climate. This is the homeland they signed away for money, Ak. I can almost guarantee the company will put it to more dignified use. This is... Ak. True enough. But breaking a contract for diplomacy's sake is simply not done. <sighs> I would be remiss to uphold one contract to the detriment of our operation. Go on, then. Some of us have more important duties. Akira, you return. What say, friend? Akira, I cannot believe! A light after our long sorrow. My village is modest, but I came prepared. I set aside a few gems for trading. They are yours by right. You are a friend of the Duape. We do not forget. You're a follower of the law. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. It's about Shodi. She... she means well. I can see that. And she's spirited, and if I was still young and didn't know the things I know, it'd be different. But anybody got that much faith in any god, let alone Aethys, I don't know how to talk to someone like that. Not these days. I get why she's like that. And I was there once, a long time back. But it's cause of that I can't see a way to respect it. I'm no good at hiding it from her either. I don't see this getting better. Doesn't seem like she's any different than what she shows. Same thing, really. That's just her trying to find a way to worship Aethys that makes sense to her. I guess that sounds familiar now that you mention it. The light? Oh, you mean... Uh, well, depends on what you mean by follow. Maybe you heard earlier? I follow Aethys too. Mostly. In a way. I mean... I am a child of the Dawn Stars, even if firstly I'm a Gonite. That's, uh, that's good, I guess. For you. Uh, oh, maybe you don't want to talk about it. That's all right. Surely some other time, then. Was it the way I said it? Or maybe I'm in need of a washing? Come closer, Watcher. We should speak. And here I thought Tewenu would hold vigil on the company's stoop until the last shard of Audra was dredged up from the ruins of his village. Sometimes it pays to be wrong. Plenty of folk disagreed with you, it seems. I wonder, what makes you so different? The Valian Trading Company is so fixated on incremental profits that by the time they make any real headway, Rawatai will own every island in all but name. And the Hawana are so gullible that their loyalties will be spread across half a million contracts, 
and nothing but black powder will remind them who truly owns Deadfire. Stop by the Royal Deadfire District sometime. Rawatai needs men and women of action to represent our interests, and I can see a promising career for someone like you. I must say, our adventures together have been a welcome change of pace. You know what I mean. When we first met in the Deerwood, you were struggling for your sanity. Now you're fighting for your soul. I can't imagine the weight of that burden. And yet you've borne it, and more remarkably. That's precisely what I mean. The gods have sent you after Aethys, and every power of note in Deadfire has their own plans for you. That puts you in a position of incredible influence. I've known you to be a person of rare kindness. Still, I'm pleased to see that you don't take your responsibilities lightly. If only more people thought as you do. I hope you'll remember this in the days to come. <laughs> 